guys, how's it going? My name is JDAM, welcome back to the video, and this is the brand new 2023 helmet setup video. Enjoy. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is JDAM, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video. Today we will be going over my current helmet setup in the year 2023. Uh, a lot has changed to this helmet. I've added some new uh, stuff, I've upgraded some equipment on the helmet, and I'm actually really happy with how it came out. So I'm going over a video, going over basically everything that I've done to the helmet. And of course, uh, if you guys are interested, everything will be linked down below in the description. Now, a lot of the equipment you guys see is actually equipment I've used in the past only because that I have a lot of trust in what I use and I feel like it doesn't really need to be upgraded as of right now. Uh, starting off with the front, the most important, the safety gear, I am running my M-Frame Oakley sunglasses. They are ballistic proof. I use this for indoors and outdoors. I actually have two separate lens and then of course, uh, going down to the Face Pro, that is a UK Face Pro uh, mesh mask. It's a built-in metal mesh where uh, that would cover your mouth and nose with a soft nylon material around it to kind of give it its shape. I highly recommend this just because it's lightweight and it doesn't get in the way of aiming down your sight. Great face protection too. So starting off with the main helmet, this is a PTS MTEX Flux. I really like the Flux and I've been actually running this for a few years now. Um, I really like the Flux for the fact that the helmet is designed to follow the natural shape of your head. So in results, it does give increasing comfort and stability to the helmet itself. And of course, when it comes to wearing the helmet for multiple hours on end, especially at Milsom events, uh, I don't actually, you know, my neck doesn't hurt and like you know my head doesn't feel discomfort like it's pretty comfortable for what you get especially if I'm running multiple accessories like a GoPro or maybe night vision or an X-Fog or just anything you would run on your helmet um, it does feel quite nice and I've always been a big fan of this helmet because of that now the helmet cover that I'm using on my build is actually from Spiritus system it's actually called the Raid Cover going around $80 US. I really like this because of its slick nylon material. Um, basically, it prevents from getting snagged on anything, especially running through the woods, tree limbs, all that jazz. Um, but I like the material, it's very slick, and I think it just looks absolutely amazing on the helmet. Of course, they do come with a variety of options from camo base, so it's a lot to go off of, but it's by far my favorite helmet cover out there. Now, coming to the back of the helmet, what I've actually done is I still kept the counterweight pouch that goes in the back of my helmet, but I actually use it for other purposes. Now, other than putting a dead light onto it, I actually house my X-Fog on the bottom of the battery uh, counterweight, and it keeps it nice and snug in there to where I can actually access it by just flipping the side panel Velcro. Um, for it being what it is, it's like a little bit on the cheaper end, but it still gets the job done and I honestly just need it for a housing for my X-Fog, which I also have it set up differently. I actually have the tubing going from the back underneath the uh, helmet cover and then I actually drilled two holes on the top of my helmet, which I will show you guys here and basically ran my tubes through it. This basically keeps everything organized, including my wires, so it doesn't get into the way. So this is a little bit of a closer look on how I'm actually running my X-Fog tube system through my helmet. Uh, like I said, I started with uh, having the X-Fog put in the back with the counterweight, and then I would run the tubes itself underneath the helmet cover so they wouldn't be snagged by any tree limbs or maybe the tube housing being damaged and then I drilled two holes on the top of the helmet basically in the dead zone where I took the padding out so with the tubes going through the top of the helmet like that I then have it secured with a double sided velcro strap uh, kind of just keeping it secure in the helmet and of course I would then have the tubes running through the top of the chin strap 
which, uh, funny enough, lines up perfectly with my iPro and then to my glasses. Though it's not the prettiest uh, system I've ever done, it's useful in the time being. And the only thing you really have to do is just drill two holes in the top of the helmet. Basically, this is an updated version on how I run my XFOG air system through my helmet. And I find that it's pretty useful uh, knowing that the tubes will no longer get caught up and that I can have it under a low profile so I don't have to look at ugly white tubes on my helmet. Now going back to the front of the helmet, I do run a GoPro Hero 9. Uh, it's my newest camera in 4K. On top of that, I do have it attached to a Brain Exploder GoPro mounting arm. Uh, the mounting arm is made out of a 3D uh, plastic material that I usually run on my GoPro attached to the front of it. And then of course, when I'm running indoors, I like to protect my camera with a superhero suit for the GoPro 9, just so I don't get the camera shot out because this is like a $500 camera and I really don't want to be out $500, so I do have a super suit to keep it safe. Now, moving into my uh, headset here, I decided to upgrade to what I originally ran to something a little bit more practical and more useful. I wasn't very happy with what I originally put on my helmet, so I decided to upgrade to a Hear Angel tactical headset. And of course, to have it attached to my amp arms, I actually used a little attachment called the AXL Rack. Basically, it takes any headset and you can now adapt it onto a uh, amp arm uh, rail belt to the helmet. I do like these headsets a lot better. Uh, better communication, I can hear my guys so much more clear, and they do come with a gel inset, uh, which is pretty cool for the ears. And then, uh, of course, I still have the amp arm on the helmet. Solely for the fact that I can flip up my uh, headset a lot easier on my helmet and I do kind of like the look of it even with the adapter to the amp arm. I do recommend these better than what I used to run solely for the fact that you can actually get these off of Amazon for about $120 and on top of that um, they're just far more convenient and they have a better, uh, I would say a better hearing. Uh, compared to the other ones. I can finally hear my teammates a hell of a lot better as well. Now, of course, I do have some wires hanging, so I typically have my wires uh, typically snugged up with the counterweight on the back of the helmet. But as of right now, this is basically how I have it set up. It's fine with me. I don't really get it caught too much on anything around me. Now, one of the biggest questions I've been getting on the channel is what the hell is on my helmet? This is actually a uh, bungee style helmet scrim that I got from a company called Gear Dynamics. They're based out of Canada, but they make these really cool camo nylon uh, scrims that are uh, retention based. Uh, picture it kind of like a, uh, like a, a sheet fitting that goes over your bed but it's a scrim and I have it in tan and M81 uh, these are really cool I actually really like these solely for the fact that they um, are really really easy to install and uh, you basically just want to put it on the front of your helmet and kind of just stretch it over um, to the helmet itself and these are cool because they kind of give me a pretty unique look on the field uh, especially with the cutout leaves, uh, these are more of a leaf cut, that's the model that I got. But basically you just want to peel it over the front of your helmet and it does, doesn't actually get in the way of your GoPro at all. It has a little hole to where your camera will flip over it. Uh, but basically you just want to stretch it over the top of the helmet and then it's good to go. Um, by far this is probably one of the coolest products I've ever actually had my hands on and I would recommend this to anybody who's looking for some easy helmet scrim to install on their platform but I did it just because I really like the look of it and it really does uh, kind of disrupt the top of my helmet um, but yeah you know it's it's a cool little uh, product that I found and I really really do enjoy it so I usually run it a lot especially for milsim events or if I'm like in a uh, open play with a lot of brush but basically it just goes over the helmet like so and then now you have a portable a helmet scrim that you can take on and off the field with no hassle. It doesn't really get in the way, nor does it really uh, get snagged on a lot. 
but I do like the look of it and I do like the uh, camo capabilities that I'm now adding onto my helmet so it's kind of like a little bit of a um, camouflage topper to add to your layout but I absolutely love these they're relatively cheap too uh, definitely a cool product and it's definitely one of my favorites for sure And that will basically cover everything that's currently on my helmet as of right now. Uh, definitely a fun video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and of course comment down below if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you guys just want to just comment down there. I do enjoy everybody who watches the video. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, everything will be posted down below in the description if you're looking to pick something up. My name is JDAM. And like always, I'll see you guys on the field. Peace.